So I have thought for a little bit more than an hour about what I'm going to say in this video, and I hope it comes out right. But no matter how I say it, I know it is going to ruffle some feathers. As I always say, that's not my intent, but I will not just sit back and go with the flow and go, oh, that's so nice. This is about the rebranding efforts of the Go RVing campaign. We're going to watch a video together here in just a minute, but let me set this thing up. The Go RVing campaign, we've all heard of it, right? It's to promote RVing and to sell more RVs. The way it works, generally speaking, is the manufacturers of RVs, every new RV that they sell, every one, they take a small portion, $25, $50, $75, kind of depends upon like, like a graduating scale of how expensive the RV is, and they take that fee and they send it to uh, RVIA, Part, and it's tens of millions of dollars, tens of millions of dollars it adds up to a year. Part of that money, a big chunk of it, goes to the Go RVing campaign. I say, personally, that to sell the concept of RVing is simple. It's like trying to sell a bottle of ice water, or give away a bottle of ice water in the desert to somebody, or selling a coat to somebody up in Alaska. RVing's great. Who would not want to escape the madness to go out in nature and be with the people you love? But they spend tens of millions of dollars, take tens of millions of dollars a year, send it to RVIA. RVIA has had for 25 years this Go RVing campaign. We've probably all seen the ads, the, you know, seen the commercials, seen the billboards, so on and so forth. They've changed it. You look at this branding campaign. We're going to play it right now. And I want to know what you think. Going back to the way I started this video, I thought for more than an hour how am I going to articulate myself without sounding like a like a grumpy son of a, you know what, a, a racist or a bigot or a homophobe or somebody. That's, I don't want to be labeled. I, I, I am sometimes a grumpy old man, but I promise I can be fun too sometimes. But I'm kind of a balance. And as I watch this, I'm like, oh my God, are you kidding me? I mean, it's nice. It's beautifully shot. Let's watch, let's watch it together. I want to know what you think of this campaign. Don't, you don't have to agree with me. You can see something completely different, but I was shocked when I saw the whole thing. So let's go ahead and watch it right now. When we first brought a group of competitors together as partners, many thought it wouldn't last, but time has proven otherwise. For 25 years, Go RVing has remained a unifying force for the industry and a call to action to those who live the lifestyle. We've always reached RV enthusiasts wherever they are, in the early years through billboards and print. Today, we've expanded beyond traditional media into the digital space to attract the next generation of buyers, a more diverse and younger group who live outdoor, active, vibrant lives. And as the face of our target changes, so will ours. We launched a rebranding process to redefine our visual identity, a process that led us back to the common thread of every RV trip the endless possibilities of the open road. This is the new Go RV, a brand that celebrates and embraces all RVers and lifestyles, with a logo that feels fresh, modern, and invites everyone to go. An icon that represents the open road, looking forward to the horizon and endless adventure. A logo that's clean, modern, and bold, and color that captures the energy and vibrancy of nature and will get noticed no matter where it appears. I'm gonna play some more here in just a second, but all those people, yee hoo hoo woo, all that stuff, that's one reason why I sold my campground. Because too many people are coming out there, woo hoo 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 look at me! And that's the truth. I'm telling you, every single campground owner, all the work campers that are gonna watch this video, they're going, mm, I kind of I kind of agree with that. Look at, not not everybody but too many of them have that attitude. We're here to look at us. Let's go back to watching the video. 2022 opens a new chapter for our Go On A Real Vacation campaign. Six days of production, more than 45 RVs, with a particular focus on two objectives, recruit new buyers and retain current owners. And that's what every piece of our campaign will aim to do. Recruit new buyers and retain current owners. You own an RV? What is in here to retain you? Just asking, just asking, here we go. So keep your eyes on the road because this is only the beginning of our journey. 
This is the new Go RV. And here's something to get you excited for the road ahead. Go on then. Just go. Go north. Go south. Go here. Go uptown. Go downtown. This is not downtown. Go back to basics. Go fish. Then go fish. Go down memory lane. Just make sure you share the lane. Go dance like no one's watching. Go where you're absolutely sure that no one's watching. Go say I do. Then go out there and do it. Go bears. Go wolves. Ah, uh, that's a wolf. Go, 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 go. And at the end of the day, when your tank is running low, go to sleep. Because <laughs> tomorrow, we go on again. Come on with me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. What do you think? Seriously, what do you think? My opinion, I think you probably know my opinion, but I, I will say this, it's beautifully produced. They have spent a lot of that tens of millions of dollars on making this campaign, but isn't something that's good for everybody. It's everybody can go RVing. How about understanding that it takes a lot of work to RV? It really does. Well, they'll figure it out later on. And I know that RVIA, their purpose is to sell RVs. That's all they want to do. They just want to sell them. But to retain customers, you better educate them. How about this idea? Instead of taking the 100% of what the manufacturer gives to RVIA, instead of doing that, what if they put half of it? What if the dealer had half of that money? And the only contingency was that that dealer had to have, I don't know, some kind of educational classes, maybe clinics, classes, workshops, every month or every quarter, invite their customers, invite people that are interested in RVing to come in and learn about how they work. Why do you use a, a septic friendly, a different kind of toilet paper in an RV than you do generally at your house? Why is that? Many of these people that are buying these RVs, they don't know, they don't own a toolbox. They've never checked the oil in their vehicle. I'm not criticizing them. We live in a different world. If I grew up as a young person today, I probably wouldn't know either. They don't know how to change a flat tire. They don't know how to change the oil except go to Jiffy Lube. And if you're going to own an RV, don't you have to learn how to fix things? I mean, kind of have some basic skills. It's not hard, but you have to have some basic knowledge of how to repair stuff. Uh, a friend of mine uh, had two girls growing up and and. What he did was when they were 16, before he gave them the car keys, he would take each one of them out and he showed them how to change a flat tire. Then he would take them out, have his wife following, and he'd take her on the side of the road, he'd let the air out of a tire. The daughter's got to fix it. He lets the air out and goes, bye. And he'd leave them on the side of the road, the daughter and the car. And she'd have to figure out how to get that flat tire changed and get back home. Now, was that love or was that abuse? I guess it depends on uh, the situation. If you're young, you probably think, that's, a, that's mean. When my dad, when I was young, my dad taught me how to change the oil on my vehicles and, and how to change the air filter and the basics of, of cars and maintenance. I worry today that we don't do that with our children. We don't do that with young people. We certainly don't do it in the RV space. If the RV industry really wants a healthy future, yes, including young people and different kinds of lifestyles, all that's important. But there's a balance. I don't see any balance there. It's just all about me. No oh, fun. Some kind of balance. Well, they know. I'm telling you, ad agency people, they know. They know they have to maintain it. There's a difference between knowing and going, oh, my God, and then really knowing. And I think too many people are buying these RVs that are going to go, oh, my God, what have we done? I don't want to see that happen. I can't change that. I know some of this industry hate my guts for even raising the question. I should just shut up, drink the Kool-Aid and say, oh, yeah, it's the greatest thing ever. And it's a nice commercial. It is. It just doesn't do anything for me. In fact, it kind of makes me feel offended. That said, I'm sure people are going to label me. 
criticize me, and that is okay too. You and I don't have to agree all the time. I want to believe that I'm the kind of person that is open-minded enough that if whatever you think or do that I go, you know what, I can kind of see that. And I would hope that you're open-minded enough that you can go, I can kind of see where he's coming from. Because if we can't, if I can't see where you are, if you can't see where I'm coming from, how are we going to ever get along? Don't we have enough fighting as there is right now in our country, in the world? Balance, balance. It's a great commercial, beautifully produced. I like the logo. I'm sure they're going to spend gobs of money, and we will no doubt see that Go RVing commercial everywhere. But is that really going to help? Really? What do you think? We all want to be heard, as I say, and I want to hear from you. Please, please, when you post your comments or leave me a voicemail, please be thoughtful, thoughtful in your comments and not ugly and those people, and I, I don't want that. That doesn't help the conversation. But think about it. I, I took more than an hour to think about how I'm going to tell this story and, and communicate, articulate the way I feel and think. It's not just a feeling, but it's a combination of my brain and my heart and experience and looking ad agency people. And usually those are people that are younger. They're making all these ads. The ads you see on TV, they're, those decisions are made by the ad agency people. And then the people that run the companies is like, well, that's what people want. Okay, we'll do it. Let me tell you something. To the people at RVIA that are watching this video, I respectfully suggest that you entertain the thought of taking some of those tens of millions of dollars, giving them back to the dealer or letting the dealer retain some of that money that's earmarked for education, for, for, for teaching people that are buying these units. I promise you, make it a family event. You know, it used to be Home Depot. I don't think they do it anymore. But on Saturday mornings, they would you could bring your little kid in and he'd be able to nail a, a board and screw something in and build a little birdhouse, a little craft thing. What a terrific idea. What if dealers had some of that money and they were able to have a monthly or a quarterly open house where bring the kids, bring the family, we're going to build a fire out in the parking lot, cook s'mores, we're going to talk to you, walk you through the phases like a mini RV show at a, at a dealership, kind of like at a campground. How good would that be? And it's already funded. So again, I, we all have ideas. I want to hear what yours are. Post your comments below, call, leave me a voicemail message, but please, let's keep the conversation going, but keep it respectful. Thank you so much for watching and letting me vent today. I hope you'll watch this video and think about it and do the right thing. I'm Alan Warren, the RV Wingman. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.